And let's go to the Cardio Newsline. We want to welcome in a special guest, and we've had to do some changing around, and we're doing this on the phone, but Leon Lee Ellis, a retired colonel, joining us. And you're going to be talking about leadership, but first of all, welcome to a snowy Colorado Springs, uh, Colonel. Well, I haven't looked out this morning, but I know it's snowy. It was snowing last night. I know it's going to be beautiful, and I'm so happy to be here. Well, you're going to enjoy the, the scenic views, especially if you don't have to get out in it right now. I understand you're going to be, and we're going to have to do a little bit of an abbreviated uh, interview with you this morning, but you understand because of the weather. You're here yeah. to speak on leadership to the cadets of the Air Force Academy, such an important topic. And uh, one thing that I wanted to ask you, by the way, you have a book coming out. Can you tell us what the name of the book is, or is it out now? Yes, it, uh, it came out uh, a few months ago. It's called Leading with Honor, Leadership Lessons from the Hanoi Hilton. Excellent. So you were a POW, correct? Yes, I was there five and a half years. I uh, went in 11 days after Senator McCain, and we came home together on the same flight. Oh, boy. So you know the senator well, I would imagine. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I, He's the, written the uh, foreword to the book. Okay. Well, I look forward to reading it. It sounds like it would, it, a good read. Leadership. When it comes to leadership, I've I've heard the phrase, some people say, well, leaders are born, they're not made. But is, is that true? Can anyone learn good leadership skills? Absolutely. That's, I wouldn't be, uh, I've been in the business for the last 15 years full time of teaching leadership to corporate leaders, and they do learn and they get better, and we all get better. We can all learn and get better. Uh, there are some natural leadership characteristics that some people have. Well, everyone has some. Uh, they're different, but uh, some are more obvious, maybe. But we also have to learn uh, and develop, and that's a big part of the Air Force Academy and the Air Force and all the military. Absolutely, and I spent a little over 20 years in the Navy myself, so I know something about the military. But let me ask you this, in the civilian sector, we, I, the military works on leadership from the from someone either enlist or when they get commissioned. But in the in the private sector, do you are you seeing leadership development in in big companies, or uh, what are the challenges out there? Well, fortunately, most good companies are committed to developing their leaders. They realize the value in that. I think some of the challenges are is that we we learn leadership best and first from our leaders that we have. So the challenge is to get the leaders, that uh, the senior leaders, to step up and grow and then take their uh, next generation of leaders with them. The biggest challenge, I think, in leadership in every sector of our society today is, is uh, courage, and that's really what this – the theme of this uh, symposium here at the Air Force Academy is called the silver lining, courage through adversity. I think you can learn courage. Uh, some people think, well, that courage is all natural. But there are many kinds of courage, and a big part of just doing the right thing is having the courage to do what you know is right. Mm, boy, well well said, well said. We're going to have to leave it at that. Uh, I wish we could have gotten you into the studio, but the weather has changed our day. But welcome to Colorado, Colonel Leon Lee Ellis, retired Colonel, U.S. Air Force. And again, uh, good luck at the symposium at the Air Force Academy. Mike, thank you so much. Hope you all have a great day and be safe. Thank you.